Hello and welcome to the 73rd vlog here on my channels on YouTube and Facebook. Again, a vlog on Article 13. And I do promise, should we win the vote in the European Parliament uh, this week, it will be the last one. For some time at least. Together with a lot of other people, we uh, took to the streets yesterday. All in all, there were about 150,000 people in Europe. In Germany, sorry for that. Um, and in Cologne we had about 10,000 people. We started at Newmarket and went down to Haymarket, completely filling uh, the square, which only usually happens uh, during Carnival, but not for political rallies. So an enormous turnout, I uh, was very grateful, and um, we had a lot of good speakers. There has been said a lot of things about Article 13, and I don't want to rehash all the arguments, but what became apparent last week is that a lot of the artists that support Article 13 and the Copyright Directive are still fighting the old Napster battles, so to speak, believing that all the art on the social media comes from licensed artists and all what we, the mere users, do is to steal art and reproduce it. They've completely not understood that social media is about us being creators and consumers. I have not understood that what we are fighting for is this lively culture of people creating stuff, of people consuming stuff, of people remixing stuff and creating a complete new art form outside of the uh, traditional media and the traditional dichotomy between artists and uh, consumers. That's pretty sad. Um, I thought by now people will have understood they were not fighting against compensation for artists but we are fighting for the freedom to be able to continue art, to continue knowledge, to continue to share uh, on social media. Also, at an absolute low, the EPP on, and their German branch, the CDO, have claimed that we are getting paid uh, for being at these rallies. So we're not only more, we're not only bots, uh, now we are getting paid. Uh, that went through uh, one of the uh, MEPs uh, through a German tabloid, actually the largest tabloids, similar to something like The Sun in the UK. There's an enormous uh, reach actually. And in that tabloid he uh, said that it's uh, a danger for the democracy if Google, without mentioning Google, just alluring to it, uh, is paying people to rally against uh, elected politicians. I mean, that was so far from true, from true, and it's such a low blow that, uh, I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, we've very clearly pointed out that it's wrong. Um, he hasn't rescinded, he has just uh, tried to say, oh, I never meant to say this. I mean, it's just plain and awful. And the thing that I don't understand is what the EPP are trying to achieve. I mean, I have completely alienated a whole generation. I mean, they have called their constituents, the people that they want them to to elect, uh, they've called them, and, and me included, a mob, we're, we're uninformed, we're misjudged, we're manipulated, um, we're bots. I mean, does the EPP really believe that we are going to elect them next time? I mean, I hope not. I mean, if they're doing this on purpose, then probably uh, they've mis miscalculated. I do believe that the EPP actually has has an age problem. And I was kind of nicely pointed out by a, a speaker at the Cologne rally. What the EPP currently is doing is they're alienating the first time voters to placate the last time voters. Um, which is pretty harsh, but I really liked it. It's probably exactly what's happening. and. Uh, Looking at how they they alienating a whole generation, and then also looking at the mess they're currently creating in the UK, maybe I wouldn't miss the APP if they were to go away. I honestly I wouldn't miss them. But um, no more talking. Uh, I leave you uh, to some uh, impressions of the uh, rally in Cologne. And I will also put a link down below on an article from the next web that I found very interesting on the question whom we should uh, put our trust into the tech companies or into our governments. Thanks a lot for watching and 
See you the next one. Urheberrechtsreform ist für den Arsch. Uploadfilter würde da ja gar nicht in der Verordnung stehen. Da habe ich dann gefragt, wie das denn sonst gehen soll. Köpfe rollen zu lassen, die da einfach nicht hingehören. 20. Mai, ich sag's euch. Macht euer Kreuz. Wert. Hier gehen Leute auf die Straße, aber nein, das zählt nicht.